Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Reese number S498AS Thermal Brake Panic Threshold Mill Finish Aluminum with a Silicone Insert. This threshold has a lot of things going on with it. It is not your, it's not your, it's not your father's threshold. Um, a lot going on with this, and let's go over the details. What makes this an S498? Well, first and foremost, its dimensional properties. There's an image down below this video that will show you this threshold is five inch wide. That over here at the back end, or the top, it's seven eighths tall. And then over here, it's half inch. And the combination of those dimensions make this, the confluence of those dimensions make this exquisitely uh, formed to make a great compatible installation with common hollow metal doors. Five and three quarter jam depths, three quarter inch undercut, okay? So that the top, so that when that door closes, it's gonna hit that stop. The seven eighths is tall enough to allow it to not go past. The half inch is perfect to get the door over it. All of that works together. And the five inch, again, five and three quarter, fantastic. What else makes this a superb threshold? Well, the silicone insert. You can get this in neoprene as well. I like silico silicone when I'm interested in having a seal that's a bit, in my experience, a bit more flexible. Uh, maybe a higher traffic volume on a door. Uh, I would like to have my seal be able to be flexible, compress a little bit, make nice contact with the face of the door, uh, and do so in such a way that I'm have, I, I achieve a seal and I'm not compromising my door closer's ability to get the door closed and latched, because that's the key. Uh, so the, the uh, happy medium between all of those points is why I like silicone. Obviously, fantastic uh, extreme temperature performance as well, exposure to ultraviolet. Why else is this awesome? Well, this is also awesome because it gives you that seal right here. That door is going to stop right here. But the reason that I like that is because it gives you the chance to add a, a door sweep out here because this door is going to swing out. And it's not because I sell weather stripping. It's primarily because I want my line of defense on the outside face of the door, not under here where the water's already gotten under the door. I want to stop it out here. But this threshold permits you two lines of defense. Okay. Another thing I love about this threshold are these grooved bottom feet. When you properly install this, think about 1032 or 1024 uh, flathead machine screws, maybe stainless, lead anchors, drill that hole, set that lead anchor, tighten those machine bolts down. Those grooves on the bottom of these feet are going to bite in because what's happening on the lifespan of this threshold? Lateral movement. Door, door, bang, bang. These feet are going to help keep it in place, and I like that. Moving on, this is a latch track threshold. So imagine you have a big box store, and you have, let's say, a number of emergency exits on the back of the open, uh, back of the building. Three pair, let's say, 6070s. Doors close. It's weather stripped. Surface vertical rods. The bottom latch of the exit device is literally going to uh, mate with this profile of the inside extrusion to act as the strike plate for that exit device. That's very elegant. Allows you to, to engage the bottom rod of the exit device without compromising the uh, threshold integrity. Now, the best for last. This is a substantially high performance threshold in the fact that it's a thermal break. The exterior aluminum and the interior aluminum make no contact whatsoever. They don't touch. They're broken by this rigid piece of, relatively rigid piece of plastic that's here, dense thermal plastic, that, again, goes a long way to preventing the transmission of energy from outside to inside. Whether it's a threshold or maybe a thermal break frame, I am witness to how high performance that installation is because I have personally been in, uh, seen this material in action. 12 degrees outside, frozen, ice covering everything. So much so that if you were to have a vinyl sweep outside, it's going to be frozen down to the threshold itself. Okay? And generally, open, opening the door in that scenario is where you rip that seal right out. And I've seen that condition, and I have touched the inside of the threshold or the frame if it's a thermal break. And while it's not room temperature, it is 
scores of degrees high, <laughs> warmer than it is outside. Now, a real payoff of that is extreme cold temperature here in Chicago. They, as far as I'm concerned, they should be installed everywhere. Extreme cold temperature meets that warm, moist air on the inside, condensation. That's going to work to erode the all of the hardware, the jam, the door, okay, the exit device mounted on the inside possibly, and over time bring a pre premature level of corrosion to an otherwise completely healthy sort of uh, installation. And thermal break thresholds, why they while they are orders of magnitude more costly than a standard threshold, who's to say in the long run what the cost savings would be overall? Uh, when you don't have 10 years down the road a, f a door and a frame that's rusting as you might if it was a regular threshold. So l there might be five reasons why this is a super powerful type of threshold that I've listed. I like it I like it for all those reasons. Now this is literally a sample, quite literally a sample. Uh, this is available in a neoprene insert as well. I like neoprene. I like it for doors that have less use because in my opinion a lot of the neoprene is slightly less pliable than silicone. Um, if you want the neoprene, just make it S498A, drop the S. You can also do this in the dark bronze finish. A means mill aluminum in this regard. If you change the A to a D, you'll get dark bronze. This is listed in the website in all lengths from two foot to eight foot in six, four, or two inch increments. You can order longer than eight foot. We just don't list them because the cost to ship eight foot lengths, meaning longer than eight foot lengths, is generally prohibitive. If you need one 10 foot piece for whatever reason, it's going to be costly to ship it, but we can easily do it, happily do it. Uh, if you need 20 12-foot lengths, not such a big deal, the shipping charge, obviously. Now, if you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field what length you want us to cut the material back to. The reason is if you had to take this, let's imagine it's a 4-foot long piece, and cut it down to, say, 42-inch, you're going to eliminate that first countersink drilled countersunk hole. And I would imagine on this piece there's going to be two of them because you don't want the inside piece to be loose. And they'll be about four inch down and then maybe maybe about eight inch center to center going down the length of the threshold. Uh, you'll be stuck cut uh, you'll be stuck cutting everything, drilling everything, countersinking everything. And sometimes you get to the point where you've drilled that hole and you realize I don't have a countersink. Nor do I have a big enough drill bit to act as a countersink. Um, who knows? Who cares? Uh, if you can handle it, doesn't matter. But we would happily send it out in a net length for you to save you that trouble, uh, is the bottom line. Okay. Now, there is a... Um, screws will be included. They're probably going to be number 10 by 2 inch, something in that range. Uh, flat head sheet metal screws. I really would prefer uh, upgrading it to machine bolts and lead anchors. We can help you with that naturally to get you squared away with a real positive sort of installation. Um, so finally, if you have need for a custom length, indicate that and we'll be happy to send it that way. Finally, 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 there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Reese products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog where you can uh, review all things Reese. Now I'm very partial to Reese because they have a confluence of excellent value, superior products, industry-leading ship times, the most gorgeous dark bronze anodized finish on aluminum that you'll see of any manufacturer in my opinion, and friendly, knowledgeable, prompt, predictable, reliable customer service, technical support. That's it. If you have any questions on the Reese S498AS, silicone bump-up style, thermal brake, latch track, um, threshold or any other Reese product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.